Greetings, my friend. This is Evangelist Ryan Sutton. I want to take this opportunity to share a word with you right now that is burning on my heart, burning in my spirit. I want to talk about a subject that a lot of people are dealing with all over our nation and around the world. If you're not dealing with it right now, you certainly have dealt with it at some point in your life and will probably have to deal with it again at some point in the future. We've all been attacked by it. We've all wrestled with it. We've all struggled with it. That subject is fear. I want to say, though, today that God's will for your life is not to be bound by fear, not to be bound by worry and anxiety and confusion. He's not the author of confusion. His will is that your heart be filled with peace, that your spirit be filled with rest, and that you walk in victory over all fears. God's grace is greater than every fear you've ever had to face, any fear that you're facing now, any fear that you're going to have to face. The Word of God declares God has not given us a spirit of fear, but he's given us his spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. I love what the word of the Lord says in Isaiah 41 and verse 10. It's a promise straight from the mouth of God, straight from the heart of God to you and to me. He said, fear not, for I am with thee. I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. I like what it says in the New Living Translation in Isaiah 41.10. The Lord said, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. And then just a couple of chapters over in Isaiah 43, verses 1 through 3, it says, But now, O Israel, the Lord who created you says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. Do not be afraid, because I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters and you go through great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned. The flames will not consume you, for I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I want to tell you today, my friend, I know that it's easy to give in to fear. I know that it's easy to be attacked by fear, but God wants your heart to be filled with faith. My prayer for you today is this, that as you hear this word, this short, simple message today, that fear would be evicted from your life and that a spirit of faith and a spirit of victory would take up a great residency in your soul and in your spirit. God never said that we wouldn't be attacked by fear. Well, what is fear, Ryan? I like the acronym for fear, false evidence appearing real. That's what fear is. It's false evidence appearing real. I want to tell you today, the devil's going to try to lie to you. He's the father of all lies. He's going to try to bring confusion. He's going to try to come against you. He's going to try to attack you. We shouldn't be surprised when those things take place. We shouldn't be surprised when the enemy comes against us. The Bible said that it would be so. But what we need to do today is realize that no matter what he's trying to do, it's not going to prosper and work. What does the word say? No weapon that's formed against you shall be able to prosper. Fear is an illusion, my friend. God's grace is greater than all your fears today. And I want to challenge you to take heart, to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying from the word of God in Isaiah Fear not, because I am with you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. God says, I'm going to uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. God never said that we wouldn't have to go through hell. He never said that we wouldn't have to go through high water. He just promised he'd be with us in it and that it would in no way harm us. We read it together. We know it's going to happen. He said, when you pass through great waters, waters of great trouble, when you pass through the fiery trial, and I want to tell you today, you might be going through hell, you might be going through high water, but you're not going to drown. You're not going to be burned up. Nobody ever drowned because they fell in the water. People drown because they stay in the water. You know what God says to you? Don't stay in the mess that you're in right now. Don't be bound up by oppression and bondage that the enemy he's trying to bring upon your life but hear the word of the lord say it's not time to give up it's time to get up in jesus name god is with you today and don't don't be don't be worried don't be dismayed don't be overcome by anxiety let the word of god empower you and enable you to rise above it all to rise above every single fear that you might be facing in this moment i want to pray for you in just a minute i want to pray a special prayer of faith believing God 
to fill your heart today with a spirit of victory, with a spirit of peace, with a spirit of rest. As I said a moment ago, all over this nation and around the world, there's uncertainties, there's instabilities. People are talking about the stock market. People are talking about all the layoffs that have taken place. People are talking about the condition. It seems like everywhere you turn, everywhere you go, in restaurants, at the gas station, wherever you may be, people are hopeless. People are scared. People are worried. They're unsure. We don't know what's going to happen. But Jesus said tomorrow will take care of itself. Just know that God is with you today. I'm telling you, you don't have to be afraid of tomorrow. He wants to set you free from the fear of tomorrow. He wants to set you free from the fear of today. He wants to set you free from the guilt and the fear of your past. God loves you today, my friend. And it's his perfect love that casts out all fear. It's his perfect love that gives you the peace, the rest, the strength that you need to know that it's all going to be all right. God's not mad at you. God's not angry with you. He cares about you. He knows what you're going through. He knows what you're facing right now. It matters to him. It's important to him. And he says to you, don't be afraid because I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Jesus says, I'm with you always, and I'm with you everywhere, even to the end of the world. I know that you might be feeling overwhelmed right now. I know that you might be feeling heaviness. You might be feeling weighed down. You might be feeling depression, discouragement, oppression and pressure from the enemy coming against you. But I want to say to you today, God's power, his anointing is greater than all of those things. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I believe that every yoke of bondage is going to be broken off of your life. I believe that by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, every heavy burden is going to be lifted today in the name of Jesus. I want to challenge you. No more fear. No more worry. No more anxiety. It may seem bad right now, but it's not always going to be like this. God wants to help you today. He wants to strengthen you. He wants to uphold you with that right hand of righteousness. It doesn't matter if the whole wide world is against you. If God be for you, who can be against you? He says not one weapon that's formed against you is going to be able to prosper. He says that in all these things, you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loved you and gave himself for you. I want to pray with you right now. I want to believe the Holy Spirit to fill your heart with victory, with faith, with boldness. The word tells us the wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. There's an answer for what you're facing today. There's an answer for what you're going through right now. His name is Jesus. And I believe that by the anointing and power of his spirit, he's going to make a difference in your life. He's going to turn circumstances and situations around starting today. And you're going to start having a new attitude, a new victorious attitude faith and victory. Let me pray with you right now. Agree with me as we pray this prayer of faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up my friend right now who's watching this video and who's listened to this short message. Lord, only you know the pain that's in their heart, the struggle that they're facing, the things that they're going through. I pray right now in the name of Jesus, touch them, minister to them. I rebuke fear out of their life. I rebuke worry and anxiety and heaviness and depression and discouragement. And I pray over them in the mighty name of Jesus that the fear would be replaced with faith, that the fear would be replaced with a spirit of victory. Comfort them, encourage them, lift them up. Lord, let them know that as they're passing through the water, as they're passing through the furnace, they're not going to be burned. They're not going to be drowned. You're there for them today to help them, to empower them, to enable them to move forward in a spirit of victory. I bless you, my friend. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you in Jesus' name. I release power. I release love. I release a sound mind in Jesus' name. God bless you.